Yo, what's going on guys? We're back for another video. For today's video, we're going to be doing um, another episode of Theme Teams. I kind of am starting to, you know, make a new series and everything just to expand my channel. Just so I won't be just King Kenny's Road to Glory. Because I know that can get, you know, just a bit boring. So I kind of do want to set a schedule. So I will talk about that later on. But for now, we're going to be doing another Theme Team. And for today's episode, we're going to be doing a retro Liverpool team. So basically, we're going to be using uh icon players and just people who used to play for liverpool if they're like decent enough if not if there's like a better option then we'll just go with either current player or an icon version so yeah we'll just see and i know it's not the best variations of the players i know that don't kill me in the comments but because i am on a, like a budget it, i can't get like team of the allison for example or the prime icon gerard even though he was on loan but it did take lampard but anyways goalkeeper Obviously, we're going to go with one of Liverpool's best goalkeepers of all time in Allison, And he has been pretty good for this season because they are still undefeated. I'm not a Liverpool fan. just want to clear that out. I'm an Arsenal fan. But I can't hate on the success that they're, you know, they're bringing to the table. This is really good this season. And they've been decent for the past couple of, like, three seasons. So they have been pretty good. But we also do have Trent and, obviously, Robertson. I have been looking at all the icons and no like left backs or right backs have really you know been in the icon selection for fifa so unfortunately you know there's no one there but two decent fullbacks really good at crossing and just attacking in real life and just really fun to watch that entire team and for center backs obviously we do have virgil van dyke and unfortunately it's not his team of the year i know don't kill me once again but because you know we're, we're broke all right we're broke so we're going to go with Joe Gomez at the second center back here. And I was going to put his Champions League version, which is why I just sent him to my club. Because, you know, got to add that color. But we do have Joe Gomez and Virgil van Dijk. So all, all the defense is just current players. So, you know, not nothing too special. We could have put Joe Matip, but I feel like Joe Gomez is sometimes a better center back, like watching him play. But I don't know. That's just my opinion. Then we do have Mr. Slip, Mr. Slippers, you know, Steven Gerrard. I'm kidding. Don't hate me. Um, and then we also do have Litman. And for you guys that don't know, he actually did play uh, for Liverpool for a couple of years. I think it was one or two. I'm not too sure. And then we do obviously have Kenny Daglish. So, you know, we you can't make a Liverpool retro team or icon team without Kenny Daglish because their, their stadium is called is named after Kenny Daglish, so you know. But we do have the captain Gerard, and then we do have Kenny and Litman. Three really solid, you know, midfielders. Um, if anything, the only one who was actually defending in the two games that I played with this team was Gerard, obviously, because he had the 80 uh defense and then the shadow card as well, so you know, not too bad. And the captain, um, captain Gerard, I'm gonna call him that, did actually manage to score. Kenny Daglish spent a couple of years with Liverpool, and then Litman, like I did say um lit man yeah but like one or two years so not too bad but we're gonna move on to the forwards that we do have and obviously we go with Mane um Salah and then Roberto Firmino but it's in a it's a retro team boys we're not gonna do that we could have also gone with Suarez and I was thinking of doing that but due to chemistry reasons I just you know chose the strike you guys will see Kenny Daglish's partner in crime but we do have John or uh, Mr. Barnes there I think it's John Barnes. If not, don't don't kill me. But we also do have Mohamed Salah, and he's just been balling out ever since he came to Liverpool. And ever since 2017, boys, he's just been balling out. And he had that one season where he scored, I think it was over 50 goals, if I'm not mistaken. So he's just been decent for the past couple of years for Liverpool. And then we do have Kenny Daglish, partner in crime, Ian Wright. Once again, I know this isn't the best cards, best versions of them, but you know, hopefully we could grow that out just in case like if we do an ajax team hopefully we get prime icons but we'll just see depends how the market is and you know but yeah solid team boys we could have obviously gone with luis suarez and then we could also go with uh coutinho we could have obviously put michael owen and we could have put a whole bunch of other players and i should have put them in the subs however i didn't because i didn't think of that at the time there's been a lot of good liverpool players that have been playing you know we could also put jordan henderson because he's been at liverpool for a long time and we could have just put um who else i mean origi because you know he got him through the champions league no nah, but um 
we could have put players like that, Daniel Sturridge too, but you know, I just wanted to go with just 11 players and then just the random substitutes. So we're going to be going on to some gameplay here that I did, you know, get with this team. And Kenny Doglish just carried the team for the first game, obviously, because he's just been balling out for me in the Kenny Doglish series. And that's mainly why I kind of did want to do a Liverpool theme team because I knew that if I was going to gameplay, then it'd be kind of easy because we do have Kenny in our team. And he's just outstanding. I can't wait for his prime moment icon. Hopefully he gets one. But as I am saying, Kenny Doglish just scores. And it's just too easy with him at times because dribbling is too good. And his shooting is just amazing. His finishing is outstanding. So obviously, you know, it's just easy to use him. And then I'll, he gets another one. And it's just it's just too easy at this point. But um, Mohamed Salah didn't really like using him, to be honest. It's kind of, you know, he's decent in real life. Like, I, I like him in real life, but he just, if the opponent covers his left foot, it's just too easy for the opponent to, you know, defend him. So I kind of didn't really like using him. And we ended up winning that game 2-0. Next team, we do come up against something decent, not too, you know, not too bad. He does have Luis Suarez, the player we did need. And, you know, we'll just see what happens in this game. Easy, easy goal by Ian right there, and easy assist. I think that was Litman. I'm not too sure if not Kenny Daglish, but easy, easy goals. And this team, I don't know, I, you know, it's not not too good on paper. Like overall wise, if we would have went with the prime icons, it would have been way better. However, you know, it's I like doing these theme teams because it brings something new to the table. It's not just me trying to be a tryhard. It's just I don't know, like using these theme teams is pretty fun, so I enjoyed it, and it was just fun. So next up. I do kind of want to do a retro Milan team and I feel like that'd be really cool just because you know they have had a whole lot of history with good players. They've had Ruud Hullet, they've had Ibra, they had Thiago Silva, Maldini, you know players like that that just I've never used before so I'd really love trying them. And I haven't used Hullet in this FIFA so hopefully he's decent, we'll just have to see. Obviously I'm going to go with this baby icon because I'm, his mid icon is already 4 million and that's just way out of my budget. So. Unfortunately, we can't go with like his primer mid, so I'm sorry, I'm not Bateson, all right? So, anyways, the Capitan does score, and he does manage to get a goal, and this time he does not slip, and Frank Lampard is our posy manager, and he's probably just cussing the team out, but, yeah, I went there. Nah, but it was, you know, easy two games, and just showing y'all that we're still undefeated in FIFA, like Liverpool is in real life. That was corny, but I don't really care, but... We're going to be doing Milan theme teams and then we're going to do our theme team with Milan, a theme team with Ajax, a theme team with Barca, you know, just top clubs that have a really good history of good players. So I am going to be doing that in the near future. So I will be uploading maybe two theme teams throughout the whole, you know, throughout every week. So we're going to be doing maybe one, two or three Kenny Douglas episodes, maybe two per week and then two theme teams two arsenal ones and then a wheel of fut unless we introduce a new series to the channel and i'm really like i don't know i just like making videos so it's exciting and everything i already have a whole lot of kenny daglish episodes just waiting to be uploaded because i mean you know i just like recording it and the team that that i'm using is just i don't know it's fun i just like fifa without me you know if it's not I sometimes I take it too competitively and I feel like with all these like YouTube videos I'm making it's just more laid back and I don't get as mad playing this game because I know it's broken and just the gameplay could just be so annoying honestly but it's a game we move um, and yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this video I know it's not the prime icons but just don't hate me we're on a budget here boys and yeah if you guys are new to the channel subscribe um, like the video leave a comment you know, give me some feedback on what I can do to improve this channel. And I'll gladly, uh, you know, take into consideration and just read everything. And yeah, appreciate all the support. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.